Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I am going to explain question number 9 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 3. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA13-01. Let me read the statement of this question. The curve shown in figure 5 has equation x equals to 4 sin square y minus 1, where 0 is less or equals to y is less or equals to pi over 2. The point P, K, comma, pi over 3 lies on the curve. Verify that K equals to 2. This is given in the question that this point lies on this curve. If it lies on this curve, uh, this point will satisfy this equation. Uh, to verify K equals to 2, just plug in these values in this equation, you will get the answer directly. We know that in this point, first value is always x and second is y. Plug in these values in this equation, you get the answer. So on the left hand side it will be k, x is k and then 4 sin square y, sin square y, y is pi over 3, minus 1. We know that sin pi over 3 is 60 degrees and uh, you know that sin 60 is the square root 3 over 2. You can do it mentally or you can use your calculator if you don't know these answers. Make sure your calculator should be in radian mode. If you remember it, sin pi over 3 is square root 3 over 2. Okay, and if you take square of this one, we get the answer as 4 into, you know, this answer, it will be 3 over 4 minus 1. So this 4 is cancelled out, 3 minus 1 is 2. So k equals to 2. First part is done, it is as required. Now for the next part, find dx by dy in terms of y. First part you need to differentiate this equation with respect to y. This is dx by dy means you are differentiating this equation with respect to y. Let me write this equation here for the first part x equals to 4 sine square y minus 1. Differentiate this equation with respect to y. Derivative of x with respect to y will be dx by dy. dx by dy. This power will multiply with 4. You know, power root 2 multiply 4 is 8. Reduce the power by 1. So, it will be sine y only. And under the power, we always differentiate it again. You need to take derivative with respect to y. Derivative of this function again, it is the root. Minus 0. Derivative of 1 is 0. Again, let me repeat. Here I am applying. Here I am applying the power rule. What is the power rule? Actually, whatever the function is here, if you memorize the formula in this way, you will never do mistake. Okay. So whatever the function is here, we always bring this power here. Actually, this is the rule. Bring the power here and then write function as is and reduce the power by one it will be n minus 1. Then under the power function is differentiated again, it is the rule. Okay, you should memorize the formula in this way. Hopefully you understand how to differentiate this one. Again, let me repeat, bring the power, this power becomes multiple and then we reduce the power by 1. So it will be n function n power n minus 1. Under the power function is differentiated again, derivative of that function again. Same way, this power will multiply here 8 and it will be sine y because one power is uh, taken away from this two. So, it left with one power only. And under the power is sine y, you differentiate that uh, sine y again according to this rule. It will be equals to 8 sine y. Derivative of sine y with respect to y is cosine y. So, this is the answer for dx by dy. This is the answer for the first part. For second part, hence show that dy by dx equals to 1 over 2 into x plus y square root of this one, 3 minus x and square root 3 minus x. Let me write the second part here. You know, we need to find dy by dx. To find dy by dx, you know, here it is, denominator is 1. You just flip the both sides. So, to get dy by dx, so it will be 1 over 8 sine, 8 sine y sine y. You flip both sides. So, you get this answer, but we, we, we want to get our answer in terms of x only. 
you need to write these values value of sine y and cosine y in terms of x because we want our answer in terms of x so first of all get your answer of sine y from the given question here given equation in the question this equation we can get the value of sine y let me write this equation here because x is equals to 4 sine square 4 sine square y minus 1 implies that sine square y will be equals to you know you need to bring this one there on the left hand side so it will be positive and this 4 is multiplied so that will be divided so it will be x plus 1 divided by 4 to get rid of this square you need to take square root of both sides so answer of sine y will be x plus 1 square root of this and 4 will be out of the square root so it will be 2 got it and also you can get the value of because you got the answer for sine y sine y is x plus 1 square root of this one and divide by 2 and uh, we can get the answer of cosine y as well cosine y is 1 minus sine square sine square y square root okay uh, you remember this formula cosine square y is equal to 1 minus sine square y and if you want to get the value of cosine y you need to take square root in the next step you must just need to plug in this value sine square y sine square y is it will be 1 minus sine square y is x plus 1 x plus 1 over 4 only now you need to simplify this and uh, here so this is the lcm of uh, these two fractions 4 is lcm and 4 multiply here and this minus will apply inside here okay so it will be minus x and minus 1 and uh, this 4 will come out of the square root so it left with 4 minus 4 minus 1 is 3 3 minus x divided by 2 so here it, it is the square root and uh, 4 will come out of the square root so this is answer for cosine y cosine y is 3 minus x square root divided by 2 now after getting these two answers you just need to plug in these two values in this equation okay just plug in these values in that uh, result we get the answer as dy by dx will be equals to dy by dx will be equals to 1 over 8 1 over 8 sine y 8 instead of sine y we will replace its value its value is 1 plus x divided by 2 and uh, multiply cosine y value of this one is 3 minus x square root of this value divided by 2 we know that 2 multiply 2 is 4 this 2 and 2 is 4 and uh, this will divide this 8 so it left with only 2 therefore answer of dy by dx will be equals to 1 over 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus x and square root of 3 minus x if you go back to the question here it is as required exactly as required so second part is done hopefully you understand it let's move on to the last part of this question the normal to the curve at p cuts the x-axis at point n find the exact area of triangle opn where o is the origin give your answer in the form a pi plus b pi square where a and b are constants the normal to the curve the normal to the curve at p cuts the x-axis at point n let me draw the normal to the point p in the diagram look at the diagram you have to draw a normal at this point p you know normal is a perpendicular line first of all if you know, notice that uh, uh, this is the tangent line tangent line is the line that touches the curve at one point only this is the tangent line what at you now you need to draw a normal to this tangent line if you draw a normal to this tangent line this is the normal line this one is the normal line this normal cuts the x-axis look here that normal cuts the x-axis at point n go back to the figure 
this normal line cuts x axis at point n okay let's say the gradient of the tangent line is m1 and gradient of the normal line is the m only and we know that the these two lines are perpendicular to each other they are making 90 degree here the product of these two gradients is always equals to minus 1 if you want to find the gradient of the normal line uh, that will be equals to minus 1 over m m1 m1 is the gradient of the tangent line this formula you could use to find the gradient of the normal if you join this point p with this origin like this you will get the triangle o and p actually you need to find the area of this triangle opn this is the triangle opn and we know that uh, we need to find this area opn okay area of triangle formula is 1 over 2 times base times height here in this triangle to if you want to find the area of this triangle opn o n is the base let me write here o n is the base and here height is if you notice that uh, from there if you draw a perpendicular from p to this line uh, along x axis if you draw a perpendicular along x axis uh, this is the height of this triangle that is all uh, already given here the height of this triangle is pi over 3 this is the height so just multiply pi over 3 so only one unknown thing that is o n how to find o n first of all you need to find the equation of the normal line and then and you could easily find the coordinates of n to find the equation of the normal you should have the gradient of the normal okay gradient of the normal could be found by using this formula and uh, m1 you can find th that is the gradient of the tangent line and tangent line could be found by using uh, this point in the derivative dy by dx okay dy by dx is the gradient of the tangent line and point p is uh, k we already found that is 2 if you plug in the, in this point you can find the gradient of the tangent line for this last part you need to find the gradient of the normal before finding the gradient of the normal you should have the gradient of the tangent line so this is the gradient of the tangent line dy by dx at point p p is k k we already found that is 2 and pi over 3 we can find the gradient of the tangent line gradient of tangent that is m1 and uh, we can plug in this value you know x equals to 2 here if you plug in this value in this equation you will find the gradient of the tangent line so it will be 1 over 2 square root of it because x is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 and here it will be 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 so you can write 1 here so gradient of the tangent line will be 1 over 2 square root 3 okay so this is the gradient of the tangent implies that gradient of the normal will be the reciprocal of the negative of the reciprocal of this one implies that uh, gradient of normal will be equals to m and that will be equals to minus 1 over m1 the easiest way just flip this one and take the negative sign so it will be negative 2 square root 3 now it is the gradient of the normal and equation of the normal at point through this point p equation of normal through point p 2 and pi over 3 is formula is y minus y1 it is the standard formula of finding the equation of the line m into x minus x1 now plug in the values so it will be y minus y1 this is x1 and this is y1 plug in these values here y1 is uh, pi over 3 m is minus 2 square root 3 and here x minus 2 x1 is 2 okay this is the equation of the line actually this is the equation of the uh, normal line i did not simplify this there is a reason because no need for this actually we want to find the coordinates of n you know that this line is intersecting the x axis at point n okay so because this this at this point n uh, we can find the x intercept you know that along this line x axis y is zero so y is zero along this line if you plug in y zero in that equation you will find the coordinates of n y0 to find the coordinates of n y will be 0 along that line so plug in here 0 minus pi over 3 equals minus 2 
square root 3 x will multiply inside the bracket it will multiply with the first value it will be like that and then it multiply the second value it will be plus 4 square root 3 minus and minus makes it plus so in the next step you can move this value on the left hand side so it will be minus again so it will be minus 5 over 3 minus 4 square root 3 equals to minus 2 square root 3 x then you divide by this value each term will be divided by minus 2 square root 3 if you multi if you divide minus 5 by 3 by this value minus 2 square root 3 you know this minus and minus makes it plus so this 2 will multiply by 3 so it will be pi over 6 square root 3 now if you divide minus 4 to square root 3 by minus 2 square root 3 your answer will be you know square root 3 will be cancelled out and this minus and minus makes it plus so answer will be 2 for sure so plus 2 this is the x coordinate of n and actually this is the base we can write here therefore this is the base of the triangle this is the base of the triangle 6 square root 3 plus 2 now use the area formula that is equals to area of triangle 1 over 2 times base times height height we already found that is uh, look at the figure this is the height actually this one is the height pi over 3 is the height and uh, we just found the base just plug in the values you will find the exact area of the triangle so answer will be 1 over 2 multiply base is pi over 6 square root 3 plus 2 multiply height height is pi over 3 this pi over 3 and this 1 over 2 you can multiply them together and it will be pi over 6 into pi over 6 square root 3 plus 2 this pi over 6 will multiply inside the bracket with both numbers so answer will be pi over 36 square root 3 this will be pi square actually pi multiply pi will be pi square 6 multiply 6 will be 36 square root 3 and then pi over 6 multiplied by 2 answer will be pi by 3 so this is the exact area and it is exactly as required this was the demand of the question first value should be look at the question we want our first answer uh, linked with pi and second answer linked with uh, pi square so get by that way there is no difference both answers are acceptable or you can write as 1 over 3 pi this value will be a plus 1 over 36 square root 3 pi square so this is A and this one is B. Uh, both answers are acceptable, no problem. Hopefully you understand this one. And if you have any question or any doubt, please write in the comment box. Question number 9 is done.